Hi, and welcome to PastaPen.com. My name is Jose Henriquez. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a complex ninja star in Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started. I'm a huge fan of ninjas, uh, though you really shouldn't be a fan. Uh, they are assassins after all, but anyway, that's another story. Let's start with a black fill and no stroke. And we're just going to draw a very simple shape with the pen tool. Holding down the shift key to get a straight line. Going out about this much. Putting it together. Now, we'll just select the shape and go to the appearance panel. Just make sure that the path is selected in the appearance panel. Uh, so that the if next few effects we're going to add to this are applied to the whole shape. So let's go under the effects menu, add new effect, distort and transform, and transform. Now the settings we need are one copy and we're going to reflect it from the left reflect the x and let's check the preview and we've got a triangle that's pretty much what we're going for for now now we'll go back into the appearance again and we're going to do another transform effect Illustrator is going to warn you that you already have that effect put on there, but we actually do want to apply a new one. So just hit apply new effect. But this time, what we want to do is make more copies. So let's change the copies to five. And we'll change the angle to 60 and the center point of the transformation will be on the bottom let's preview that all right we got a basic star shape right now let's hit okay okay now here's the fun part we'll switch to the circle ellipse tool we'll just draw uh well holding down shift for a perfect circle we'll just draw that there and what we're going to do is we're going to overlay it on top of our real shape now the reason i say real shape is because if i do command y or go to the outline view you'll see that this is the only path that we're dealing with with the star and the circle that we just drew. So let me go back to the normal view. And with the pathfinder, what we're going to do is select both our shapes and we'll minus the front. And watch what happens. Okay, so now we're getting our ninja star shape. Now I'll switch to the white arrow tool and maybe tweak it a little bit and just experiment. Well, doesn't look very ninja-like. Let's do something like there. Tweak this. We can always expand the tip some more, holding down shift. Now we're getting something interesting. Maybe use the pen tool and add a couple more points. Move them around. What we get. Okay. Maybe we need to thicken this up a little more. Ooh. 
too much. Shit. Okay, and uh, basically the possibilities are endless. Um, you can also, if you wanted to, you can add more points to it. Uh, and just go crazy with it. Well, that's the end of this tutorial. Next time I'll be showing you how to bring in your ninja star into Photoshop to create a dramatic ninja movie poster. My name's Jose Henriquez for PassThePen.com. Thanks for watching.